Hi, I'm Eric from Ion Software, presenting live from NFA 2010 here from sunny Las Vegas. And uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to turn a still frame like this into a night scene like that. And we'll also do stereo conversion, because stereo conversion she seems to be quite a topic at this year's NAV. So let's start right away. And uh, first off, I want to do some well standard day for night grading here, as you normally would do that in Fusion. And uh, connect this image to an image plane, which by no surprise looks like an image plane. So what I'm going to take it a step further and use my Luma here to uh, get those high frequency values here and uh, use that on a bump map and pipe that into a blind shader. Blind shader, one of the materials you get in Fusion's multi-level material system. And now I use this to actually replace the material here on my image plane and all out of a sudden you see that it starts reacting to the light quite differently as it did before. Next thing is pretty much the same idea as with the house scene you've seen earlier to use a depth map to displace the image. Well, in this case, it's not using one polygon, but the vast amount of three polygon masks here to create this effect. And again, I use it on a Displace 3D tool to create a scene like this. Well, obviously time to chuck in a camera and a light, hit play, and there we go. So actually, I can now go and uh, take my light here, start moving it around, I mean, you know that uh, idea, medieval movie, the old man with the one lantern in his hand slowly coming up the street. Ooh, that's spooky, isn't it? Um, so yeah, relighting the scene is fairly straight away. Let's add some more particles like uh, rain and a little, bo little bit of uh, ground fog here. Put that all together. And uh, let's do a stereo conversion. And actually in Fusion, uh, that is pretty straightforward. I click on my stereo goggles here, choose my preferred um, encoding method, in this case Anaglyph, go to my camera, play a little bit with the uh, eye separation and the convergence distance, maybe like so. And there we go with our stereo scene. I find this light a little bit distracting, so I switch it off. One of the new features in Fusion 6.1 is that you can actually say, okay, I always want to see my cameras, my lights, my point clouds, so I'll switch that off. And there we go. Well, there's not much left to do. Uh, put it in our renderer and say, okay, in this case, I want to render the stacked image, left, right eye, put in an anaglyph tool. So the typical anaglyph tool here, say that's a horizontal stack and I want it in color. And there you go with your anaglyph rendering. Stereo conversion straight ahead.